Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you a team I'm going to use for this, a Feast for a God World event. Spell damage is not the thing for this, it's skulls, all about skulls. When you get this medal, you're going to get extra damage from skulls. Really important, plus 40% skull damage for all troops in the current event when you evolve the token to a badge, and then 160% skull damage for all troops in the current event when you evolve it to a medal. So what you want to do first of all is pop into the rewards section and grab that straight away, because this is a guild-based event, and your team, your guild, may have started before you, and as such may have collected some of them already, and you can often evolve it absolutely immediately. So really cool. All right, uh, first things first, you want to go to the shop next and buy a tier one. Really cool. You get more tokens of bones, you get a potion of enchantment and other stuff as well. Really, really useful indeed. There we go, we get to evolve it. First one, bingo bango, done. Further tiers as you go along if you so desire. Just keep on going as far as you like or as far as your guild requirements say, a lot of tier requirements uh, like to get at least tier 2 or tier 3 for most guilds to make sure everybody does their part. Right, now on to the team and the scoring system. There are six battles you can encounter during this event, which are a Dynamite Goat, Moon Phoenix, Nightwing, Forest Guardian, Tinseltail and Suna. The battles are randomly chosen and they all have an equal ch chance of appearing on the map. Now you get meat and you get cakes in this, which are worth various points, but I've simplified the point system there to uh, make sure you get the most points possible. Now, even though each meat is basically worth three points and each cake is worth seven points, the battles will drop a variable number of meat and cakes on average about 1.18 times the base amount. Right now onto the team itself, we'll fight sooner first because she is worth the most points here. The team I'm going to go for, remember this is a skull based event where you get more damage with a medal for skulls. So we're going to go in Archer class, and Archer class is really cool. 15% chance for any skull damage to be lethal, and starts with 50% mana. As well as that, the most important thing from the champion talents is Root Trap. Because we're looking for skulls and going to cast a lot of them, we're going to entangle the first enemy at the start, just to make sure we don't get a bit unlucky on that um, start there, and to protect us as the game goes on. Also, 30% chance to dodge skull damage should the opponent get to use any of the skulls we're going to use against us. We're going to have Fist of Zorn here. Starts battles with a full mana if you have this on the third trait. Converts all yellow gems to skulls and gives 23 attack to the first ally, making our skulls even more deadly. Trick Nala also starts battles with a full mana and will inflict Hunter's Mark on the first enemy, then convert all green gems to skulls. So we can basically look for either green to skulls at the start, or yellow to the start, which is uh, pretty cool. In fact, I'm going to swap them two around, because Trick Nala has 20% chance to dodge skull damage, so basically, if we lost our first troop, we still have a chance to dodge any skull damage with the next one down. Gar Nock is here also, gives all Orc allies a 50% start with mana and gains 3 to all skills if in last place, which it is, and deals 1 true damage to all allies. Yes, that does say allies. This goes around whipping all its teammates, trying to get them to work harder. That reminds me of someone else I know. Anyway, <laughs> creates then creates 7 red and 7 brown gems boosted by Orc allies and has a summon at the same time. The red will feed into these three troops here, and the brown can charge up the weapon. So you see how this team works? Very straightforward, nice and easy to use. Just got to rely on a little bit of luck for those skull conversions and pick up any other skull hits as they go along. Banner for this, plus two blue, plus one red, a minus one green sunken banner from the sunken fleet. Right, let's take it out of here and see how it does. Always equip the medal when it says to do that. Medals wise, I have all Medals of Seasons. Medals of Seasons plus four attack, life and armor for all troops. Important to give yourself an extra boost up in attack, but we're gonna to wanna to apply that medal, so we will absolutely do that. And I will put it in the middle for tidiness and symm symmetrical reasons, because I'm weird. Right, here we go, come on then. Give us skulls. Right, so we can look for these two. Green to skulls, or yellow to skulls, basically. So if any line up like this, you absolutely cannot miss. Gaboosh. 
Kaboosh. Yellow to skulls. Any of them doing anywhere? Well, we don't need that because we've got that one. And the yellow to skulls is a little bit unlucky. Because it's not lining up anywhere, I don't think. Unless I'm seeing stuff. No? Oh well. We'll explode stuff anyway then. That'll do. On to the next. And cake. We like cake and it's got a cherry on top and everything and that nice icing stuff which oh, you sort of save for last, don't you? you sort of, sometimes you eat the cake and you eat all that stuff around the outside and then the last bite, you sort of leave the last bite to make sure it's got lots of icing on top and oh, yes, probably anyway. Right, Tinter Tail gives us more cakes. Cakes are worth more points than meat. But if you don't eat your meat, you can't have any pudding. How can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? Right, yellow to skulls. We have yellow to skulls. Let's do that. Boosh. Do we have green to skulls? No. No, we don't. So you have to have a little bit of patience with this team. It's not going to work entirely in your favour all the time. Of course, in the early stages, you can just go to a damage to wall weapon. At first, for the early stages, do it that way. That's going to work. And then when it stops wiping out the opponent with your damage to wall weapon, you can maybe switch the top troop to the wall hack. But certainly on the early stages, you'd be better off. Oh, look at that yellow to skulls. Look at everything. It's all good. We'll have that, that, that. And a little slice of that. Thanks for the cake. More cake. Mmm. Gonna be gonna be full up on cake by the end of this big time. God, oh, I do like cake. Green to skulls. Take normal skull hits when they're there if available. We got yellow, yeah, lovely chubbly. Get on your way, give me your cake. You know you want to. Green is lovely. Yellow is not so lovely right now. So let's get the weapon charged up and get a random skull hit. Thank you very much. That will charge up the team and do some random damage and get the job done. All good. Me. The hearty. Let's get some cake. I like meat, just not the funny stuff. I'm a chicken person. I like chicken. Pork chops, bacon. Don't mind a bit of steak. Just get stuck in my teeth sometimes and it's a bit of a pain. Do we have yellow? You've got yellow, but it's not charged. Green. Oh, well, I'll just cast this. Still got yellow. Now we've got green. Be gone, foul spawn. Give me your cake. All right, I've moved on a little bit further, but the enemy is still super straightforward to defeat. Not taking many skull hits myself. Just taking a look at things like this on the early stages. Get those skull wallops in early. Oh, we've got a couple. We've got a hit back then. Like, oof. But you can do this if you like if you see a potential four match always worth casting if there's no four matches then just take the single skull hit but all the while you can cast something like this and get the four match extra turn absolutely do that yeah 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 you can have your you can have your little bit of glory it won't last long hunter's mark double skull damage with the extra damage from the token absolutely devastating level 62 forest guardian is up next we 
around for anything that does your conversions. We have yellow here, we'll do that. Give an attack to the first ally. This is good, don't just take that when it's there because with something like this with Trick Nala, you're gonna get an extra turn with it. So don't bother with that either because it may, well it will take away that green and spoil that extra turn. So don't always wanna do an extra turn. Not all the time. Hunter's Mark dealing out the extra damage. Gaboosh. Piece of cake. <laughs> ah! Whatever it is, run out of sigils. There's a video. If you enjoyed it, liked it, found it useful, any of that kind of jazz, be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button. It really does help, but don't bash it too hard. I am not responsible for damaged devices. Thanks for watching. Catch you again next time. Bye for now.